Hello and greetings. RPG Mods fan has broken up his walkthrough, review, and discussion of the D&D UK 1, Beyond the Crystal Cave, module into two parts. This first part will discuss the player's appropriate portion of the module. Next week, RPG Mods fan will release the second part, which is appropriate for Dungeon Masters only. So, without further ado, here is the first part of the walkthrough of the UK 1 module. Hello and greetings ladies and gentlemen from RPG Mods fan. If you are a boy or a girl, you may want to stop watching. I will be mentioning Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet's play. Hence, it will contain some mushy stuff that you may not want to watch. This video will review and discuss the Dungeons & Dragons module UK1 Beyond the Crystal Cave, which was written by Dave J. Brown, Tom Kirby, and Graham Morris. The module was published by TSR UK in 1983. This module was meant for player characters between the levels of 4 to 7. This module was written for AD&D First Edition rules. This module is a role-playing module where combat is highly discouraged. Hence, it is not for those who play for glory, combat, and treasure. The UK1 module takes inspiration from Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet play, where the player characters are tasked to find Orlando and Julia and return them home. However, it is not as grandiose as Shakespeare's play. The module takes place in the fantasy world of Greyhawk, on a small island off the coast of the Hold of the Sea Princes. To be more specific, the module takes place on the island of Simbarate, located one mile or almost 1.7 kilometers south of Fairwind Isle. Simbarate is part of the archipelago country of Fairwind. The country is ruled by the Commodore of Fairwind, who installed their own local governor on Simbarate's island. The island has a small fishing port called Simbar, which is where the local government is also located, and it is on the north coast of the island. The adventurers start on Fairwind Island, where they hear tales of a fortune in reward money being offered by the governor of Symbirate. The adventurers then travel to the island and meet with the governor. The meeting with the governor should be played out as a role-playing encounter. The short version would be as follows. Two years ago, the governor's daughter, Juliana, eloped with Orlando, who was the son of a noble. Because of the feud between both families, the couple fled to Porfirio's garden and have never been seen since. Both grieving families want their offspring back. They hire the adventurers to search for and find Porfirio's garden, brave its dangers, and rescue their offspring. At the same time, the people of Symbirate Island hold the garden in great reverence and urge the adventurers not to harm anyone or anything within the garden. The governor also states that their reward will be forfeit if the garden is ransacked. 